Here is the big problem with the EWG, they are just not a scientific source. Any app or website that judges the safety of a product based on what's in the ingredient list, that is just straight pseudoscience. The amount is really important because the more molecules you have of something inside your body, the more chances it has to interact with something and cause a potentially harmful effect. That's where the dose makes the poison comes from, it's basically just collision theory. If you're in a room where there's one balloon floating around, you're less likely to bump into it than if you were in a room with a hundred balloons. The EWG have a long history of, in my opinion, capitalizing on fear. They used to push the idea that the measles vaccine caused autism. The foundation of this theory was a fraudulent 1998 study. This was partially retracted in 2004, completely retracted in 2010, but the EWG still had this page up in 2013. There's the survey of toxicologists, 92% disagreed that any level of exposure to a hazardous chemical is bad, 81% disagreed that detecting a chemical in your body means it's a problem. These are principles that the EWG uses, if it's in a product it's bad, if it's in your body that's scary. This paper looked at the EWG's dirty dozen list. I think this quote really sums it up. The methodology used does not appear to follow any established scientific procedures. This is about their food info, but it equally applies to anything they say about cosmetics. 